Wewe wewe kumbusha long time sana mzee wakati hizo mambo zinavuanza. Hivi kwa mfano TD mtu anakufungia ndani sasa hivi. Au sio? Kwenye kachumba uko peke yako ya. Alafu anakwambia hebu anza kumcounti yule TD wa kuanzia zeze mpaka TD sasa hivi wa bamba featuring Ludiva. Then ukishamaliza kumcounti lia sana au furai sana. Matokeo yake atakuwa ni nini kati ya vitu hivi? tafikiria kufanya process sababu ndio umeniambia nifanye tafikiria okay safi wewe baki ni kitu kizuri sana leo sisi tunapata nafasi ya kufanya ya kupata time ya kupiga story na wewe TD kitu ambacho watu wengi sana labda ambacho amfahamu na kwa kwa hapa ni exclusive leo tunawapa kupitia mchezo kwao TD pia before ya kuwa MC before TD ya kuwa mwimbaji ulikuwa unafanya hizi mambo ambazo sisi tunafanya si ndio Unadhani while ilifika time TD ukasema kwamba hebu sasa hivi tupo kwenye entertainment industry lakini now hebu ngoja tuhamie huku kidogo huku tupumzike. Nafikiri kama ulikuwa kwenye akili yangu. Yes. Kuna project zinazifanya lakini ni, ni mapema sana kuzizungumzia. Um, kama ulivyoona nimefungua barber shop yangu. Ah uh, mimi kubwa kufungua barber shop yangu ni kufanya uh, Uh, uraisi wa kufanya kazi zangu kwa hiyo sana so pale nakutana na sanii wenzangu wengi na kuja so there is a tv show coming up ambayo ni, ni la, live uh, reality tv show ambayo itakuwa mm. inaruka ruka tu utaiona uh, youtube watu wa kila watu itakuwa na vitu vingi sana mm mm so kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo ni siwezi kukuambia kabisa sababu nitapoteza ile chachu but i'm telling you tid is coming up with his own tv show okay top wind up tid ndio imekuwa plan kubwa sana ambayo imekutangaza leo hii kila mtu akiona TID 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 yawezekana mwingine akawa aelewi TID ni nini lakini TID tunakuzungumzia tunazungumzia tapinda unadhani mpaka hapo alipofika still bado una deserve kuendelea kuibeba clown ya kuwa topinda um, first thing first topinda si kama jina ambalo mimi nime 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 kipindi ambacho naanza kufanya kazi za muziki wa kipindi ambacho nipo shule pia. Okay. Most of my friends I mean huko ni MC wa events nyingi za shuleni. Um nilikuwa za entertainment uh, minister kwa hiyo nilikuwa na provide all the necessary uh, equipment, uh, music, details, whatever it is, MCs, DJs so mimi nilikuwa hapo. Kwa hiyo mimi naitwa TD. TD ni family name nimetoka kwa babu yangu. Kwa hiyo wale ni jina la TD ni mimi jina langu halisi naitwa Hali. Mm-hmm. Um, so from TD uh, wakati nafanya hizi harakati zangu za kufanya mambo ya ku host hizo events kuanzia huko Shaba Robert Second School kwenda Loyola kwenda Tegeme Second School kote nimefanya hizo host mm-hmm. uh, Billy Kana hadi mwisho nikaingia kwenye uh, kwenye sana kasema moja nianze ku record sasa hapo ndo uh, kutoka kwenye TD washikaji wa mbele wewe sio TD tu maana nilikuwa naandika bita T I D bita T ya mbele ni top in down top in down sana you stand on top kwa sababu hiyo ndio maana hadi sasa hivi niko top in down na sidhani kama kuna mtu mwingine anaweza kaitwa top in down that's a name lakini uh, it's a metaphor nikisema metaphor maana yake mm. it describes how hotel kwamba huyu ni nani na kitu gani ambacho sasa so, mjina ndio kitu chako mingi sana mtaani. Sana 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 sana. Kwa mwisho ambao sasa hivi unafanya poa kama inakuja hivi afu inakataa. Ah, uh, wapi unaitoa hii misemo? Yaani zao la hii misemo waga ni nini? Kama nilivyokuambia, it's a creativity that uh, I create along my uh, 
my production, I mean mm. my my production. So I'm coming to the same point, but I'm to a university talent show, and all eyes are depending on the TV. So me, I have to come up with my own tone, with my own subjects, with with my own brands. Those are my things. These are the things I'm going to do. When I say my ina kuja ina kata, it's not just a say. Apart from misemo, tini ni miongoni mwa sani mwenye aka nyingi pia. Nickname nyingi sana. Tasamii waga napenda uh, nikupe nikupe nickname then uniambie pale ambapo ilipoanza. Last time nilikuwa na Juma pia tukapiga story akanipa mwanzo wa nickname zake zote. Imanexia. Mwanao kabisa faida yani. Tukapiga story nyingi sana hapa yani. <laughs> Tuna walioba ilianzia wapi? Walioba ilianzia Dodoma. Dodoma <laughs> Kigogo Kigogo Albert Longwe Mariam Albert Longwe yeah Mungu wa glass ma pepo pepo Yeah ni kona ni pepo confidence moja tulikwenda kwa international moja tulikuwa tuna perform there but stay na ndugu kwa Albert Longwe glass na ndani but we capture chili this and the art kiki kwa kwa tumuta na moja na yale ongera we art nimetokea Kenya. Nilikuwa na Robis kumoja na uh, tuna nimetoka tu prison. Nilikuwa mm. 2008 nikaalikwa kwenye kipindi cha uh, NTV, walikuwa na kipindi chao uh, na comedian mmoja maarufu sana ambaye baadaye alikuwa na yeye ni counselor anaitwa yeah. uh, Mongoka. Uh, Mongoka na yeye alikuwa mtangazaji na mwimbaji pia ni comedian so the first day we talk a prison in Mena Kenya in the Tamasha I was very very big in ayo nyimbo ya nyota ya kwa hiyo yule jamaa alionita tukaanza kufanya interview kana eh hebu niambie mzee mnyama mwenyewe mnyama eh mnyama I was like hey, mnyama na usione ni kazi ndogo alimuita mnyama sure. ndio yeye alikuwa kule I'm ruthless to this thing kwa sababu nifanye kazi za kinyama nipige kazi za kinyama you know what that videos ambazo nimezifanya Kenya mm-hmm. sote zilikuwa express kwa sababu hizi kazi za kinyama wale miongoni mwa wasanii wachache sana wa Tanzania ambao mimi naita bahati mm-hmm. umepata bahati ya ya ya, ya kwenda jela ukatumikia kifungo ambacho ulichokuwa nacho then time ikapita karudi nitani Mm. Mtani stories zinakuwa nyingi sana bwana kombo ukiwasaa ukifika kule la fiangu watu oya oya yani unapata bonge moja la treatment yani la VIP yani kutoka kwa shaji ambao unakutana nao ndani hebu tushie kidogo experience na sisi kwa hizo story namna gani ulikuwa unatutiwa mle ndani na washaji ambao walikuwa wakuta mle ndani mimi sijai kufika gajela that was my first time tena kwa sababu tumeikuwa tunarudi sana when you go to your kijana zaidi alafu uko kwenye top of the game you are star in Kazan of you to see my Joe Kenya and Joe Gani and Joe 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 America Joe Canada we in the killer mood Joe London you are on top of the game yeah, you sure. know that's how come by you you are a human being any mm. you are from that and you are on top of the, the law lakini um 
unakosea pia sababu hakuna binadamu ambaye yuko perfect sure sure so ukikubana na mwokosea you need to repent and becoming a good person lakini ndio nimefika kule hata kama ni star you are in jail niacha makeri yangu niacha nyumba yangu nimeacha familia bimkubwa nini mtoto my girlfriend my girlfriends you know any is like you yeah. come on man I'm <laughs> <spelling> mistake <laughs> You know this thing ni watu naziacha tunaingia sehemu mm. na mnaamka saa 11 usiku kuna ngani saa 9 tushaingia ndani Mimi niko na sali tu muda wote Hata nimesema ah bana Mungu ameniweka for a reason here yeah. And then nilikuwa kule jela siku moja nikaota bana nimekutana na rais kipindi kile rais ni Kikwete Mm Imagine umeota 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 umekutana na president JK JK baada ya mwezi mbili nimepata parole wanasema ni parole mhm four months baada ya kukaa ndani nitakuwa nikae mwaka mzima lakini nimefika tisa Disemba nikapewa msamaha na rais alafu nilishamuota oh my god i was like i mean the prince nakuja kama prince na katata ah who am i yeah yeah namna gani tu washikaji ambao walikuwa wanakutweet mle ndani tena mwanaweza hiyo swala jira nianza ku sweat it reminds me of the horror is a horror kama vile unaingia kwenye horror movie like a scary movie people are like you know vipele vinatoka vile yani not necessarily that lakini you are living in a daily life with highly criminals any wengine wa what wengine si wana wengine na wengine wanataka kufanya nini ni national organization more that's a risky life sure my friend mm kwa watu unaotakiwa kuna kule ni wale ambao wamefanya makosa kabisa. Let me tell you something. Mimi it was very hard. Kilichonisaidia tu nilikuwa karibu na Mungu. Nakwambia kabisa Mungu ni kila kitu. Nilikuwa na sali kuanzia tunavuamka saa kumi na moja saa kumi usiku. Sali alfajiri ikifika mchana pia na sali. Kiasi cha kwamba hata wale ambao nimewakuta mle ndani kwanza walinipenda. Siku ya kwanza nimeingia kule wakasema bwana tuna matatizo ya mashafu sasa kuna rafiki yangu mmoja alikuja kuniangalia anaitwa Alpha. Alpha sudi na ingia kwa bahati mbaya nikakutana naye. Nikamwambia, "Tumshaje Alpha tu hapo namsimamisha, anampigisha magoti." I'm like, "What hell? Mache, my cousin wakamwacha." Soje tena mnyama. Mnyama kidogo kaongea. Mache. Na kwenda kama bwana jela nakataa. Yaani kama kingpin kama vile prison break fraud. You know what I'm saying? Kama jela ndogo, ndogo akaja hapo. Baba tetulia, baba vipi na baba? Jamaa yangu si ukafanya nini ngamba tulia? This is how it's supposed to be. You are a man. We have to be strong. Tukaingia, tukakaa. Sasa wale jamaa ndio usali nao. Alfa tena tukaenda kusali, tumesali naye Alfa. Alfa tena jamaa wana share mashaf. Ile mashafu moja kitabu cha Mungu they are sharing it. Na bado nilimsumbua sana Alfa. Kesho Alfa alikuja kupata visitors. Tukaletewa mashafu zaidi ya 40. So I was so I was so pleased because of I say tukaanza kusali kwa sababu TV hiyo situation kwa ujumla imechangia nini labda positive na negative katika TV huyu ambaye tunamuona leo hii I was an example I was so naughty I was uh, so called superstar mm. I'm still a superstar lakini nimekuwa mfano the positive thing about it ni kwamba hakuna mwingine tena amepigana na mwanzake akaenda pole yes kwa sababu kwa mtumika za kifani anasema hivyo mimi ni mko msalabu kwa watu wengine wanasema oh ti is like you know even people like me now a lot because i've become a positive yes an example watu wengine they will never ruin their lives tafiti zisizo rasmi zinasema kwamba mwanaume ukideti na wema sepetu miongoni mwa faida utakazozipata utaongea sana yai tidi ni miongoni mwa wasanii miongoni mwa stars ambao wanaongea sana kiingereza tena kiingereza kilichonyoka yazekana ikani miongoni mwa matunda ule yavuna katika penzi lako na bibie unataka kuniambia kwamba kwa masefetu ni english teacher kwa takwimu zilizopo watu wengi sana wamegoa kusema mimi nime ah no 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 this undergrade i mean uh, undergrade my best friend 
don't try to do that. She's not oh, an English teacher. She'll no. never be an English teacher. Mm. Lakini, because she speaks fluently good English, like any other actor. That makes sense. Lakini wewe, usimuite wewe masipe to my best friend, ni mwalimu wa kingereza. That's so rude. Tena italifanya kipindi chako ni action. Fine. Tupo na tia hii leo katika mchezo kwao. Bonge moja la combination safi kabisa kutoka kwangu pamoja na TD. Kuna vitu vingi sana tushazungumza lakini pia vipo ambavyo tunahitaji tuzungumze mimi na bonde tia hii mnyama kigogo. Warioba, umesikia zoeke zote wapi zilipotoka? Picha lilianzaje? Utaendelea kuenjoy vingi tu kutoka kwa TD na chochote ungependa kushama sisi, tupate kwa Instagram, Facebook na Twitter as mchezo kwao show, lakini pia ka subscribe YouTube channel yetu. Then utapata nafasi ya kuona show hizi hapa na zingine zote. Tidi mwaka 2000 na kwenye miaka ya 2003 na nakumbuka. Ukasema kwamba miongoni mwa vitu unavyotaka kufanya ni kuifanya Rada Entertainment kuwa kubwa sana. Utatengeneza talent nyingi, utazisimamia kwenye kila kitu mwasho siku. But boy flani hivi yani kama inakuja afu inakubali na nyoka. Now to go 2020. Hatujakiona kile ambacho ulichokisema. Mipango ilikuwa mawapi. Hapa katikati kuna vitu vingi sana Rada Entertainment imefanya. Mm. Top band um wasanii wengi Steve R&B ametoka top band mm. Umari uh, Faraji Omidin Pose katoka top band you know? between F2 mm. na Adi Adi Fike Mbili um, yes Omidin Pose ametoka top band that was right entertainment still akaja uh, nimezungumzia nani Kina Alawi uh, Alawi Junior nani blah 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 Bill Nas blah 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 2020. So how many people ambao wamepitia kwenye hii connection ya TID and they've been successful ni wengi. You forgot to mention. Kitu ambacho kimeongezeka tu ni Albert Mangoya alipoingia. Okay. So suddenly alifariki Albert Mangoya na Tibaya Afrika Kusini. Vitu vingi vilikuwa vikohote. We had to stop. Lakini kumbuka nimegaramia zaidi ya milioni 15 kwenye project ya Rada. Lakini sikuwa na support. The media was not on my side. Yani muda ambao watu walikuwa wanachukiana kipindi hiko. Kweli kulikuwa na matatizo sana. Matatizo yapo wasanii na watu wa media yalikuwepo makubwa sana. Speaking of wasanii na media, nishia kusikia pia unazungumza, unasema kwamba kuna baadhi ya watu hapo na wasanii wengine kitu wanalalamika kweli. Kwamba kuna mtu anakwenda ana pay mzigo ulipwe ili kumzima mtu. Na ushawahi kurealize kwamba hii kitu kwako imetokea. Ime, ime Shema sisi hii kitu namna gani inaumiza bien? Hii kitu nipo. Kwa sababu kwanza mimi nilishakuwa tu na matatizo ya media flani flani lakini um, at the end of the day it was a push thing. Tuna bombana naye kwa sababu tu anataka hivi na hivi na hivi. Au kuna mtu flani anachukia naye kwa sababu hii is personal things. Let's put personal stuff aside. To concentrate on us. Huu muziki tumeutoa mbali. You know what I mean? Yes. You can't just mimi sikuomba si wa Kenya wapende miziki yangu au wa Kenya waniite nifanye matangazo ya bia yao ya task sikuomba they have seen a talent in this country wameona talent ya Tanzania the exploration mimi ni chat breaker wa kwanza Kenya Uganda wapi nyimbo za kitanzania i'm helping my country music to be bigger in this region who the hell i am i'm supposed to be respected you know to leave it all personal stuff mm. unataka tukuzima that's bad that's bullshit tuna sababu vipi nashukuru Mungu wengi wao wanaanza kwa smart they are realizing the value the value ya ya TID ni nani wengi wao sasa hivi people may be tired and have to think we have including this, me this guy yeah this guy is different this guy is unique He is the teacher of this industry. This guy, we need this guy. Kuna watu wameanza kufikiria. Napigiwa simu kibao. Ah ndio fanya TV show hapa kwa TV yetu. Show hapo fanya kipindi cha radio njoo hapa. I'm still digesting. When it comes to the right time, I'll do it. Tukibaki hapo hapo, nishakusikia mwenyewe ukisema kwamba una ngoma na 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 diamond. Ipo kwa bwana Lama hapa, Fish Club. Umzigo ulikuwa mawapi? Ah umzigo nikikumbuka ile da. Mimi nilikuwa kama fedha na 12 na 11. Mm. To the end of studio tukatengeneza beat nini nini. Tukasoka tukasema tunaenda sleepway then akaja wa masipetu distraction ikatokea pale. Diamond na mimi na masipetu blah blah blah. Tukaachana. 
atakurudi studio tukurekodi lakini we had a section pale kwa maana tulitengeneza beat um hata hivyo last two years pia tulishikia studio tukafanya kitu mimi na bwana platinum lakini hatukumalizia i think when the time comes tutafanya ngoma ipo uh, ngoma ipo good thing kwamba yeye na mimi tunaongea kwamba okay man we'll do this when we have time so ikifika muda muafaka tutafanya Zamani hii mlikuwa mnashindana kuandika ngoma kali inasababisha ngoma inaenda mbali sana lakini tunaona sasa hivi watu wanashindana sana kwenye views za YouTube kiasi kwamba zile views zinadatamine kwamba fulani eti ndio msanii mkali kwa sababu ana views nyingi views za YouTube ni alama gani katika mziki wako uh, for me it doesn't make any sense uh, kwa sababu my brand has been in a billion views yeah sure uh, ni doesn't make any sense situ kina bwana ni kitu nyimbo yangu haitijafika sio ya 5 million views i'm like i'm not a good artist yeah. or i'm not a professional no this is just a technology imekuja tu sasa hivi we used to be doing this without this technology so this kids wana pat advantage na hii technology ya kusema sio instagram youtube here we could that man kwamba wewe ni msanii mkali kwa sababu sasa hivi sikudanganya wasanii wengi wana fake ni wasanii wa studio mashairi mabovu wanajaribu kutoa mziki wetu kugeza mziki wengine wanataka kuweka mziki wa nchi za west wa Nigeria mashairi the way they sing wanazungumza girls stuff yani vitu ambavyo vichafu havielimishi jamii mtu anasema sio mtalo wako sio nini matusi matupu it's a dirty thing we don't tunawafundisha nini watoto wetu eti mtoto imepigwa nyimbo fulani eti sio nini lala inuka nini imenama mbele ya babako how do you do that It's not a family song. Mimi nimeona. Na kwa for me, ukisema sio YouTube, Instagram views, it's a bullshit. Sababu mtu mwingine ana views za kitano hapa juu ya takwimba. Ukimsikia naimba live hivi na tamani and it's like oh my god. Let me have corona for this thing. Oh my god. Eh, toka. Nini ambacho bi mkubwa labda tidi apendi sana katika career yako ya muziki? Oh, alikuwa pendi ni wake last time. Ni vibe sana yaleni hivyo vitu vipi nikitokea nimevaa hizi na muzi sometimes i don't wear my gold earrings because i'm a bit pain it's sneak out kenya up in nairobi or when i be outside that pigeon man i would be better doing bling and all that shit au sio next question okay ni cheki mwanao nimevaa nimevaa mask au sio nimekula mask yangu white nini kubwa kichonifanya ni kujilinda mimi pamoja na kukulinda wewe ya ugonjwa ambao na time tuko nayo sasa hivi ya ugonjwa wa covid 19 ni kipindi ambacho uh, haijapitishwa ile lockdown kwamba kila mtu akae nyumbani kwake lakini tumekuwa tukishauriwa kwamba kama una shughuli nyingi za, za town nini za msingi jifungie ndani na familia yako jilinde mwenyewe ndio taratibu umekuwa umeendelea labda kwa kipindi hiki ambacho tunakaa sana nyumbani aturotate sana mitani vitu gani ambavyo tidi unavimiss na vitu gani ambavyo unavipoteza labda katika kazi yako nzuri Ah, uh, kwa kweli ni mbaya. Ni mbaya sana kwa kazi yangu kwa sababu mimi uh, kategemea kipato cha cha performance. Ah, uh, sasa tuweze kuuza sana au through distribution deal kama vile tulikuwa tunauza zamani cassette, CDs. Na sasa tunajaribu kuuza digital. Yeah, sure. And through digital it doesn't make any sense kwamba tunaweza tuka tukapata hivyo na kutegemea. Mm. Kutokana na mazingira ambayo tunayo hiyo mimi um, nilikuwa na mkataba na sehemu nyingine nafanya kazi na bendi yangu na katika bendi yangu pia na, na muziki ambao wanategemea kupata pesa au kula chakula kupitia uh, hiyo sanaa yetu kwa hiyo baada ya corona kuingia wenye sehemu zao wenye mm-hmm. venues wenye wamesema kwamba bana it can't work uh, tumepewa tahadhari kwamba tusitishe kwa umesitisha kwa hiyo mimi njia moja au nyingine imeniharibia ah in daily income. Kwa sasa hivi bana corona si kwamba tu inaua watu lakini kiuchumi pia ni tatizo. Yeah, sure. Kiuchumi pia ni tatizo. Kwa hiyo tahadhari ni tahadhari zimefanyika. Kama watu wanaposema ukaa nyumbani pia ni unasaidia sana. Mm. Uh, kuwa na safari ambazo zina mpango mpango unaweza ukatoka kwa kena ukana watu kumbe kule ndio unakutana corona unarudisha tio fan na utaona vile watu wangapi ni janga la dunia nzima kwa hiyo kiuchumi kwa wasanii pia ni pigo kubwa 
autonomy and by the corner to give me his live performance. So weekly we get paid weekly. And it's not a poor killer week. Because I couldn't put a poor killer week in each other. Mr. Tiso. Now, I see that Tiso took you to me. I can't. So, for Tesa, Dugu and Yama, Kuria Miek, Kuya Tahazad is Chukuriu. Menelo one. Yeah, sure. Mamma could talk a corner of Zungu Kabila, Safari and Sing, Bila Kuva mask, eh? Ocean Kono, Mara Pamara. You are not Niku Queneza. I don't know how much is your mask. It looks expensive in a It looks cheap in a It's your mask from China. I'm scared. Oh my God. social distance. What time wana kuona labda. Unakuta mtu anakuja na kitu serious ambacho watu wana expect au labda kitu ambacho watu wanaamini hiki chida lolizo kitamkwaza lakini wewe unakibadilisha kile unakifanya kinakuwa jokes alafu kuna muda mtu anakuja na kitu ambacho other jokes ni utani tu anakutania inatokea una mind inakuwa big issue unadhani nini kipo ndani yako ambacho watu wengi sana wanakuona upige story na wewe anakosea kukuhendo mwisho wa siku kinatokea ambacho kinatokea i don't know i don't want to give this as a secret or what kuna watu wengine waki wakifanya interviews mm. It's boring. At our Tasamadu near it, they don't even want to see you talking. You're talking with what? A kid is like, oh, you're just a fluke artist. They were there, what? You don't have anything to talk. But you're boring. You're talking like somebody with a content. Yeah, like sure. Like me. Yeah. When you talk about the content, is when you come to ask me your questionnaire. Come on, is that it? Unashindo vipi? Yaani watu wanaokuja. That's the content. That's the content what people wants to see. Mr. Tangazani, why are you missing a point? <laughs> You're missing a point. Mimi mm. as a carrot. So that I can make my content. Nisifanye content yangu, content yangu. Yeah. Iwe nzuri. Hadi wewe unipigie simu utaki kuniona. I should be that way. Lakini wewe ujui Anyways, it's good to have you, my friend. I hope your content will be better. Bongi moja la content mwanangu. Asante. Alafu mwisho wa siku tume enjoy vile vile. Salama. Madogo janja tidi vipi? Wako salama kabisa. Wako ngapi sasa hivi? Sasa hivi wako kama wow, sio tatu. Ah, tidi. Safiki yangu madogo janja afra. Wanakuja kama hesabu inakuja kama nakataa tena. We talk about it some other time. You say it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not planning to channel it. It's a channel for family. 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 It's a Funga kibwe wengi ya kati Don't do it like that Wataka mani na kupi waini Tunde chumbani Don't we do it like that Wataka mani na kupi hani Tunde chumbani Thank you.